I'm about to add the colour to the little bits of waxing that I've done with the, using the batik technique. And I'm using just ordinary fabric paints. Um, I've only got four. I've got red, turquoise, yellow and black. So I've put some of each out. Now if you need, use them neat, they come out quite strongly coloured. And you can see that the fabric paint is not catching where the fabric has got wax on. Now if I want to dilute that colour, I just add water. And we can take it out. And then add this end maybe, some strong turquoise and blend it in. see the where the wax was much much more clearly and one of the things I've learned is that if I'm going to do it on a card I do need not to have white or in this case cream sheet showing so I tend to go outside the area that the card would be for instance that and because I've done yellow there, I'm going to use primarily yellow on this one as well. Because there's a bit of cross hatching there, I can use colours in small areas. It's a little red with this one. Maybe a little bit of the turquoise. You need to touch it. Be spread out. And you can put the water on first and then add the colour, get a slightly different effect. And generally, the advice is to keep it simple, really. not to get too carried away. Let's try this spotty one, adding the water first. This was the first one I did, first little one, and I just dripped the wax, so it's just dots. like nothing at the moment.
Oh, I seem to be going into the next one. See how much stronger the colour is when you use it neat. Blending. very therapeutic. You really don't think about anything else while you're doing something like this. Throw a little bit of red. I'm just going to lift this up to help the drying and I'm going to get some more newspaper to put underneath otherwise I'll spoil it a little. the inks on and now I'm going to iron out the wax and all I've done is to get thick newspaper put my fabric that I've been working on on it and then ordinary domestic iron to melt the wax and the wax is absorbed beautifully usually into the newspaper. Take the iron off. You can see little spots of wax and actually because it's not fully dry a little bit of paint has come off. Turn it in. That's clear. And what you're doing effectively is heating the wax up again and letting it go into the newspaper. See the wax? I need to keep going with this until the wax is all out. And so plenty of newspaper is needed. sure the publishers of the Times would be gutted to know that their newspaper was being used, <laughs> misused in this way. And you need to keep doing this until no wax comes out. Most of it's out. I still feel a little there. Mm -hmm.